Vikramaditya was walking towards his kingdom with the corpse, Bital asked Vikramaditya, What is it in a man that makes him higher than the others? King Vikramaditya did not reply. Bital spoke again, Listen to my story related to this and answer my question. If you do not, I will break your head into pieces. Saying so, Bital began to tell the story. Once upon a time, there lived a king named Shursen. He was the ruler of Magda. He was known all over the world as a very good king. Many people came to see him. One day, he went hunting in the forest. He started chasing a deer. He was so involved in chasing the deer that he went deep inside the forest. The deer got away. As the king turned to go back, he lost his way. The king tried to find his way out of the forest but could not. The king gets lost. It started to get dark. The king also became tired. He was hungry as well as thirsty. But there was nothing to eat. Finally, he gave up hope of finding a way out of the forest. So he decided to spend the night by resting on the ground. Though there were wild animals on the prowl, yet King Shursin did not get scared. He made his bed under a tree and began to take rest. He kept his sword near him. A little distance away from him, he had tied his horse to a tree. As King Shursin was waiting for sunrise, he heard a voice. Who are you? The voice asked. King Shursin was happy to hear a man's voice and asked, First tell me, who are you? The man replied, I am a traveller, but I think you belong to a royal family. How did you end up here? Gunadhi, the surprised king, asked, How did you know that I belong to a royal family? The man replied, Your dress and your bejeweled sword are clear indications of that. The king replied, You guessed right. I am King Shursen of Magdha Kingdom. I lost my way while hunting a deer. What is your name? What do you do? The man replied, I am Gunadhip. I am an orphan. I am looking for a job. I saw you entering the forest. It was a perfect opportunity for me to meet you and to ask you for some work. So I started following you. This forest is known to me. I will take you out of the forest easily. For now, you can relax. Have some food that I have with me. The hungry king enjoyed the simple food. Gunadeep said to the king, Now you take rest while I stand on guard. Gunadeep is mesmerized. The king slept comfortably. In the morning, King Shursin fetched his horse. Gunadeep sat behind the king. The king asked him to show the way out of the forest to his kingdom. It was around midday when they reached the kingdom. The people were very happy to see the king. Everyone rejoiced at the safe return of King Shursin. The palace officials were greatly relieved. The next day, King Shursin made Gunadeep his minister. He gave him a palace to live in, many maids and royal servants. Gunadeep was given many other facilities that came with the royal position. Gunadeep thanked the king for his kindness. One day, Gunadeep went for a round. He reached a lake on the outskirts of the city. There, he was mesmerized by someone. He saw a lovely girl filling water in her pitcher. Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.